So the funny thing is, I don't know if y'all can see that, but those things are meant for uh, trucks to not be able to get in. As you can see, I posted here on the side, there's more than plenty of space for people to come by. Uh, but <laughs> look at all those trucks down there. It's just funny because, I mean, clearly they found a way to still get into the lot. It's hilarious. Like, they, they try to stop us of, you know, getting into parking lots and stuff. But, like, we got to get food, you know, one way or another. I mean, look at all this open parking space that we could just park. It just sucks because... It just sucks because, like, all these truck drivers that are throwing trash into parking lots and stuff are ruining up for, ruining up for us. I'm sure that uh, if they were maintaining the, the parking lots and not throwing trash and whatever nasty crap, we would be okay and we'd be allowed to park. It just kind of sucks. But yeah, anyways, uh, I emptied out this morning and uh, now I'm just stopped by. I just moved up here to this Walmart and then a little bit later, we're going to be uh, heading to our pickup. So yeah. Gotta get some steak, some eggs, yogurt, need a fire extinguisher, kind of off the list. But yeah, let's do that and then we'll catch you guys later. So uh, we just got some food. In case you're wondering, I changed the uh, frames per second to 60. I think I'm gonna do the same on my GoPro actually as well. We'll see. I might mess around with like 60 or 30. I did notice the 24 is very choppy, especially once I edit it. So hopefully this is smoother. But the thing about 60 is when it's on a head cam, it really, it's really fast. Like when I turn my head like this, it, it's really, really like quick. And 24 kind of like slows it down. But anyways, we got quite a bit of food. We got like, Spent seventy dollars, and uh, I'm I'm good. I bought potatoes. I have rice. I bought some different potatoes to try out because I just been eating rice, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of tired of rice. Even though I, I I like rice, and grab this here. Even though I like rice, but uh, yeah, we'll try this out. I bought some fish, steak. Uh, yogurt and whatnot. I, I bought quite a bit of stuff. We might go over this later. I know a lot of people tend to ask, like, hey, can you do some nutrition stuff? What do you eat on the road? And, you know, I mean, this is $70. And uh, there's some quality meals in here. And I also bought stuff that is, you know, not food, so you can't really compare. But I think you can eat a quality me meal like meat and carbs. I would say for like six, seven dollars. And if you go to freaking Arby's or anything, yeah, good luck. You're gonna get a combo with a drink. That's horrible for you. And you're gonna be spending like $10, $10 minimal. Eat that twice a day. You know, you're looking at 20 bucks. Plus you gotta go after it not there you gotta chase down an arby's this is in your truck good to go but yeah let's uh get this thing over this big curb and return this cart and then uh, we'll catch you guys probably at the shipper <laughs> this like would be my luck they loaded me like super super quick i was like man that was like so fast and uh i go in there and uh to get my bills i get my bills you know i sign everything and i i look at the uh receiver's address like ship to and this says uh iowa and i'm going to indiana so it's like oh uh, yeah this is not gonna work out i mean like if it was the same broker i'd probably just call him and see what kind of rate they could give me for that load and i might have just ran that but i uh i have to go visit some guy in indiana fort wayne tomorrow so I kind of like plan on my day around this. I didn't really want to change it, but yeah, like the, the you should always, always check those bills before you get going and just grab them and go. 
because these things do happen. So like what would have happened if I didn't even pay attention and I just went all the way to Indiana and checked in and they're like, yeah, this doesn't go here. It wouldn't have been a fun time. But yeah, I still didn't even eat. I need to clean out this damn truck, but like I need to take out so much stuff out, but I'm just like tired, man. Yeah. Hopefully we get unloaded and loaded in a decent time frame so yeah catch you guys when we get rolling this is crazy y'all uh, i'm at a service plaza here in ohio i just came out i was gonna go shower and there's a huge freaking fire over there i just heard like loud bangs and explosions like these guys are like not even noticing the freaking fire like look how big that fire is there's cops there. That is, something is on fire like big time. Holy crap. It's peaceful on this side, but over there, something is up in big, big flames. I mean, I see cop lights, hopefully they're, uh, they're shutting it down, but those, it was some loud bangs. Like really, really loud. Hopefully everyone's all right. Earlier, I think my video just stopped recording. Uh, so I don't even know where it ended, but yeah, I'm in Ohio. I'll try to go shower here soon. But that looks crazy. I don't know. Um, I don't know why they're like not evacuating everyone. Everything's like smoking. I can't really tell what it where it's coming from. Probably a truck. Yeah, that's crazy guys. Hopefully everyone's alright and they got that fire under control, but I didn't even think about it. Some of these guys ride their brakes real hard and they'll heat up catching fire. Even though it's flat ground. It might have very well happened. And that was his tire blowing up. But that is crazy. They need to start evacuating everyone. Hopefully they do that. Stay safe, y'all. So it looks like that's a flatbed. They caught on fire, but like... That's a crap ton of smoke, holy crap. That's a big fire. This thing is like getting out of control too. They're trying to like shut it down. They need to evacuate these trucks, make them do. It's crazy that they're not. Man, hopefully everyone's all right, but there's like no truck. They're like spraying water on it, but it just keeps getting bigger. I don't think he even hears me. The fire is literally getting bigger. Maybe he was hauling some hazardous materials. that they're not man hopefully everyone's all right but this fire has been going on for some time and they've literally been spraying water like i don't know if diesel is on fire or what but like it's literally not shutting out it looks like there's a truck in front of the trailer let's see if i can get a better point of view from somewhere there yeah, you can't really see from the median, but that's crazy. I uh, hope everyone's good, it's safe. It's windy. Hopefully, you can hear me. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. It's scary out here. Later, y'all.